Adjustments, Presets, and Effects. Click on Adjustments, and you'll uh, here we're going to pick Impression. And I'm going for a particular look on this. I look at the Preset List uh, drop-down menu, and I'm going to choose Charcoal. But I don't want just the defaults. I'm going to put the look that I want in here, tweaking each slider until I get the look that I want. Put some color back in, jazz up the lighting a bit. And uh, get the light direction here. And so once I get everything that I want, uh, like this white vignette in here, uh, I might want to be able to apply this to multiple images re uh, repeatedly without having to uh, adjust all these sliders again, knowing that I'm going for about the same look on each of uh, the vehicles or uh, whatever your subject is. If you have a look, uh, wedding photography is a good example if you want to have that or you're making postcards uh, with a particular look and vignette. Uh, this is a way to do that. You come up and click on this little page marker next to the presets and you can s save an adjustment as a preset to be able to reapply this look to another picture. But what we're going to do, uh, and here you can see I'm, I'm cycling through different presets, being able to prove that I saved that preset. But I'm going to add another effect, uh, and here we'll put some white edges in because I want a much stronger vignette edge. And uh, I'm going to put it on all four sides. And I'll save this as a preset when I'm done as well. So that if I go, if I ever want a four-sided edge exposure again, when I go into edge exposure and drop down my preset menu, I'll be able to find my four-sided white edges and click that and get it instantly instead of having to go through all this. So here I go, click on the page, and call it four-sided white edges. Click OK. Now I have two adjustments that are called uh, have their own preset, but I have combined them and I don't want to have to do that repeatedly so I drop down here and this little icon allows me to save the, com the combination of adjustment presets as an effect. So I'm going to call this one Antique Auto or Antique Charcoal color with white edges and vignette. And I could put an effect description, especially if I were going to make this public uh, to help people find it or, or know what it's for or to remind myself what it was for. And then I can tag it with some keywords, uh, like here we'll put painting and maybe find another one. Uh, let's say Ooh, something like charcoal would be good if it has it, and I think it does. Yeah, charcoal and pastel. Click that one. And so now I'm going to be able to sit, sit, click OK, and we have a saved combination of preset uh, adjustments that is an effect. So I can choose my next. Uh, well, let's uh, apply this one so we save it. Uh, and I can choose my next car and apply all those adjustments and tweaks in one click. So here's my, my under my effects, I found uh, that effect uh, that uh, effect and applied it, and it applied all those adjustments you saw before and gave me the same exact result. So there's the difference between adjustment, preset of an adjustment, a combination of adjustments, presets, to give an effect. I hope this was helpful.